गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अड्डा ट्वेंटी फोर सेवन वी आर इन सिलेक्शन एम सी क्यू सीरीज फॉर बी एफ एम एंड टूडेज टॉपिक इज ऑपरेशनल रिस्क ओके यस्टरडे वी हैव कवर्ड क्वान्टिटेटिव देन वी हैड कवर्ड क्वालिटेटिव सो टू इम्पॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ दिस आर बी एस पॉलिसी आर कवर्ड ओवर यर सो वॉच दोज वीडियोज ऑल्सो प्लस वॉच टूडेज वीडियो बिकॉज टूडे इज फॉर ऑपरेशनल रिस्क वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट ओके there are three types of risk right which are those type in the comment section which are the three risks considered in basel basel everyone type fast basel 2 which are the three risks type fast it is credit correct market and ops okay okay so yesterday's homework was the functions of derivatives are why are derivatives used derivatives are used for it is useful for providing flexibility to the market products it is an important tool for hedging market products a and b and none of the above so flexibility to the market products that is also a point flexibility means if i am having the hedging tools or derivatives i can be rest assured so i can take more difficult calls Similarly, the second B also important tool for hedging. Hedging is an important tool in any commodity trading. It can be dollar, it can be gold, it can be stocks, anything. Okay, so both A and B is the answer. C, C is the answer. Okay, let me mark this. Okay, chala. The risk of loss resulting from inadequate or failed internal processes, people. and systems or from external events is called as dash risk legal compliance fraud and operational so resulting from inadequate here inadequate or failed internal systems means what my systems are failing means what what do you mean by this word failing systems means link is not there even that is the serious issue we see it generally in our banks no link we just put a board no link and tell the customer but that is a serious operational risk okay or there is a terrorist attack in your branch or there is a complete electricity failure in your branch there is a flood in your area anything is possible any by ways through which you are not able to service the customers that is known as basically operational risk correct operational is the right answer okay everyone it is a operational risk Okay. Yeah. Next one. Which of the following is not an operational risk? Not a huh? compliance, transaction, then legal and counterparty. Not an operational. Firstly, operational risk arises due to what? Due to failure of systems, error from the people working, then any external events like decoity or uh, any. this uh, flood famines anything okay covid situation that also related to operational risk okay so which of them is not we want not over here so what is the answer compliance transaction legal or counterparty what is the compliance risk compliance risk means if my my employees over here are not able to comply with the rbi guidelines they don't submit their reports properly so that becomes a employee problem so again it is an operational risk so that is okay transaction risk means i when i do the transaction with the counterparty i am not able to do it properly mainly this this arises due to settlement risk so this is also an operational risk legal taking the documents properly legal document dp and demand promissory note then other is agreement then continuing security all these documents need to be taken by me as a banker but if i don't take it then who is erring in that case who is doing the error the error is done by the human being so again operational right but what about counterparty counterparty is a part of credit risk remember credit risk credit will be of two types mainly okay one is country country and second is counterparty okay counterparty risk so these are the two types of credit risks Before going ahead, download Adda Twenty Four Seven app on your mobile. In this app, you are getting all the free uh, this uh, premium study materials, live classes, e-books, tests, everything you are getting. So download it immediately. Okay. 
द रिस्क रिलेटेड टू नॉन परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ ट्रेडिंग पार्टनर्स ड्यू टू काउंटर पार्टीज रिफ्यूजल और इनएबिलिटी टू परफॉर्म इज कॉल्ड अ डैश रिस्क liquidity operational counterparty and none of the above so what is the answer ah uh, that's what i wanted i just checked many of you are uh, typing the answer as operational why because topic for today is operational risk but it's not the answer topic is given but you need to clarify or distinguish between the operational and non operational risk so the correct answer is counterparty Here it's clearly mentioned non-performance of trading partner. Non-performance, non-performance means that other partner or other party buyer of mine isn't able to give me the payment. So that is basically counterparty risk, isn't it? Risk of legal or regulatory sanction, financial loss, or reputational loss that the bank may suffer as a result of its failure to comply with any or all of the applicable laws is called as. transaction risk compliance risk credit risk systems risk now have you seen this risk compliance risk how many of you have seen this compliance give me the example of compliance risk any bank which has been fined recently any bank any bank which has been fined recently who can give me the uh, give me the name of that bank compliance risk any latest case okay which is the latest case just i'll wait over here let me see okay Yeah. Anyone? 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 Fast. The recent case was with Mahindra Financial Services. Recent, most recent case was with Mahindra Financial Services. Okay. So that's why. Remember, you must always be aware of whatever is happening. Okay. So Mahindra Financial Services, there was a compliance risk. That's why RBI fined them heavily. Okay. So coming back, we are not to go into those details over here. Okay. But the point over here is we must be aware. So what is the answer? Yeah. Um, result of failure of comply, failure to comply with any of the applicable laws. Logic, compliance risk, isn't it? Before going ahead, subscribe to Officers Adda Twenty Four Seven YouTube channel. In this channel, you will be getting. Number one, latest updates on J B and C B, and number two, free YouTube series on all the subjects of J and B, J B and C B, and the marathons which will be conducted later will also be the part of this channel only. So that's why join it ASAP, immediately join it. Okay, click on the bell icon. Whatever is available free, you must grab it fast. risk arising from adverse business decisions improper implementation of decisions or lack of responsiveness to industry changes is called as reputation risk strategic risk operational risk and management risk means improper decisions or improper implementation unable to see the future do you know the example of this which one i generally give this nokia nokia phones Just remember the period two thousand six, okay? Roughly yeah, two thousand six yeah, two thousand six to two thousand eight or nine, nine let's say. Nokia. Each phone was Nokia. Every one who was having the phone was having Nokia. Where is Nokia now? Gone. Why? Because they lack of responsiveness. They didn't see the future. Android was covering, uh, coming. It was capturing the world, but Nokia no. gone what is kodak kodak anyone remembers that kodak ads kodak company fuji film kodak all those camera company camera companies nikon where are the camera companies now even though these camera companies have shifted their business now but main problem was this film makers kodak gone right because now where are the films who processes the photos what about the photographers how many photographers are still running the shop gone isn't it so this is known as strategic risk if you don't foresee the future so same thing will happen okay the major types of business risk include all of the following except except means i don't want what is uh, the right uh, the right answer i want the wrong answer 
the major types of business risk include all so which of them is not a major type of business risk product pricing diversification credit risk and all of the above so which of them is not a business risk so product pricing yes yes it is a business risk if i price it wrongly if i price it above the market then nobody will purchase my uh, my product if i price it below the market then i'll be suffering the losses diversification if i diversify into unwarranted business or unknown business gone isn't it if i diversify in some known business and execute it properly then i'll definitely gain right credit risk credit risk is altogether different it has nothing to do with business credit risk means i give the money to somebody and that guy doesn't pay me so this is not the type of business risk and that's what we wanted isn't it now today's homework credit risk is what the risk that the firm's borrower will not make the promised payments the risk that the firm will not be able to get the credit from the lenders the risk that the firm will not have sufficient funds to make payments to its employees the risk due to changes in output and input prices so you check it over here i'll give you tomorrow the answer okay so it is very simple okay you can directly see the answer okay let me come to this batches power packed revision batches and video course batches both of them are available if you have time i would definitely suggest you join this power packed revision batches all the important numericals objective questions case studies everything is covered if you were uh, this uh, video courses batch if you don't have time bank pressures we have all the sales target now huge meetings available so in those meetings you don't get time to attend a fixed batch so there you can go for the video courses batch okay you get ebook over here test over here everything you get it 80% off is going on right now use the code y432 okay so how to use it let me show this okay go to adda 247 okay let's go to adda i would suggest you download the app first in the app once you download you are getting 1% extra using the coin system okay go to adda 247 say this click on jib and cib then click on caib 23 Okay, click. Look at this. The details. Click on this power packed revision batch. Okay, revision batch. You have seen this. All the details are given over here. Dates, timings, study plans, everything. Go through it. Also, look at the fees part. Fees part three triple nine point seven five. Click on more offers. Put the code Y four three two Y four three two. Okay. Look at this. This 80% off now. Actually, the fees was 15999. That has reduced to 3199. Such a huge discount you are getting. So join this power packed revision batch immediately. You can join the video courses batch also. See this. Go back to Adda 24/7 front page. Okay, click on CIB again. CIB 23. Okay. Now you will see the batches. Scroll down, 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 down. Yeah. See this. video courses click on this you'll see the video courses over here again go through the details topics are given i um, mean there is no timing to this batch it's your own timing okay go through it click on more offers put the code y432 y432 click on apply now look at this 80% off 22999 was the original fees it has reduced to 4599 such a huge discount go for it right now okay tomorrow i'll be back with another series till then keep studying and do join either video course or the 